Hi everyone, it's Dan here. It's been a long time and today we're going to be sculpting the ears and I've already gone ahead and added uh, just the cube and then this quad, quad sphere over here and then we can just begin. So as usual, I'm going to head to sculpt mode and activate the grab brush. I'm just going to pull this to make the rough shape of the ear. Uh, which is the first thing I always do when I sculpt the ears. So, I'll look at it from the other views I have, the side view, the front view, and even the top view as well. Yeah. When, once you get the shape of the ear, it gets, it gets easier from there. So, you just keep um, pulling based on the reference that you have. I have a reference, so... I'm going to pull that up and uh, pull this area back in just like the reference of the ear I have. Now ears could take many different shapes but there's, there's um, how do I put this, there's a general rule to them, a general um, way they all look, at least human ears anyway. We just get that down, we, we get that out of the way first while looking at references and then we move from there. Now it's always a very good idea to make sure you keep it as low as possible at the first, um, the early stages as we are starting now. Keep it always uh, low poly so you could uh, easily get the shape that you want and then after that you go into whatever kind of a level of detail that you want to have for that particular model. So right now I'm just at the back of the ear and uh, creating that little um, cup shape that attaches to the head and I'm going to use the crease and just make that, um, that demarcation just make it more obvious as you would a standard um, yeah standard yeah yeah then pull this back a bit and pull this um, forward and I think we have something that is decent okay yeah I'm gonna pull this down just a bit I don't want to spend too much time here so the video doesn't stretch too doesn't be, doesn't become too long and then here, from here I could activate dynamic topology and we could begin laying out the other forms of the ear. Now just as with anything that you're going to sculpt, it's worth noting that you could always break it down into several parts. For example, the ear, I'm going to start with this, this area over here, we'd call it um, uh, like a bean shape or like it's uh, the uh, letter C or just anything that is easy for you to understand but it starts off this way you know it comes from the top over here and then you know just like just like a C and then comes over here all right So that's that's like the first um, the first big shape that I always put down after I get the general shape of the ear uh, before I move into other shapes I just get this down so I'm going to roughly block out all of them and then we could uh, start sculpting each individually then after that okay I'm going to add some more geometry to this bump over here you know all these things they have of course they have scientific names but I don't think they are needed for this tutorial you know just want to make it simple but um, basically from a general rule of thumb when sculpting the ears you know this bump it always it always um, pops out when you look at it from the front view if you look at a person's face you know this pops out slightly Though for, for some people, of course, it could, you know, go in deeper. But most of the time, you know, it just, it just pops out slightly. Yeah. 
so you just try to do that and then make sure the side view as well makes sense based on the reference as always that you have hopefully you're working from reference okay and after that i'm just gonna pull this down a bit and then the next thing that's the next um shape of the the, the next uh huge form to put down would be the y shape oh, oops be that y shape of the ear i'm just gonna do it over here all right so for many people it's um it's well pronounced some more than others yeah and then it usually according to the reference i have anyways you know pops out i'm just going to use the grab brush and pull it out while i use the clay the clay strips to just uh, chop off the geometry around that area you know between this shape over here and then this bump you know just so we could create this um uh, how do i call it like a depression yeah i don't know if depression is the word but yes and then at the end of the the y shape of the ear it blends in with the bigger um let's just call it a c for now yeah then it sort of blends in so you're gonna use the x and uh, that's the shortcut actually i'm gonna use the sculpt draw and i'm just going to chop away from the mesh there just so i could have something that's a little more a little bit more um pushed in than it is now yeah so we're gonna create something that looks like the um the ear hole that leads into the inner ear so all this is just at the rough stages which is what you should do before um before you begin trying to um add any sort of details to the ear if you're going for something that is highly detailed yeah. now to complete this i'm going to go back to the c a uh, for lack of a better word the c shape and i'm just going to complete it because it comes in and it has um this shape over here yeah and of course all these parts since it's of course one uh, single part is just um the ear so you have to um blend the transitions you don't want something that is um so harsh and uh, visible right? because actually based on references they are all just um smoothly blended in right there so just going to continue using the crease brush to crease out these areas between the shapes and um, from time to time i usually turn off dynamic topology just so um, i'm not adding a lot of geometry and then i pinch use the pinch brush and pull these parts together just so i can have a thinner um a thinner look on the ear i think i'll push this um uh this part back this area that's like a bow like you know like a cup shape something like that i'm just gonna push it back so it doesn't appear so much in the profile view and slightly smoothen out but not too much and go back to um, i'm going to use the grab brush again and pull this y shape in yeah i'm gonna pull it in so. as i always say it's always it's it's a good practice to make sure you 
um, move around your model a lot you know don't just be stuck to um, one view maybe it's the side view or the front view you know just try to make a habit to move around and see all sides to the model because you are working on a 3d model so it has to look good from all sides okay i think i'll turn on dynamic topology again and just flesh out this area and yeah then use the crease and define that area behind the ear just some more as i use the crease i also use the smoothing brush a smooth brush to um just clean it up a bit last thing i'm going to use the crease brush and um actually i'm going to use the sculpt draw and i'm just gonna poke some kind of hole uh boy the cube is clipping switch back to that and i use the grab and just push that back and then hit alt q and can get back to the mesh so I'm just gonna make this look like um the ear hole that leads into the inner ear not gonna touch much on that but just make it a little bit more pronounced than it is right now and then refine this um area that pops out you know just this little bump and add some add some flesh over here for this area as well all this you know um, um, everything i do is is it's, it's informed by the reference i have it's always always a good idea to walk from reference please walk from reference um it always helps you know doesn't matter what you're doing stylized or realistic it always helps to walk from reference especially if you're starting out even I'm adding some more flesh to uh, a Y area, area that looks like a Y, you know, shape of letter Y. And very soon, going to we could, you know, really um go into details and you know really begin to have those nice shapes. It looks like I pinched a little bit too much around this area so i'm going to just use the smooth brush and um i have to mess up the geometry but we could always fix that now if i go to wireframe i'll uh, just keep using the smooth brush until it looks a little bit better and then uh, make sure dynamic topology is on and we could get back that shape okay so lots of different ways you know the ear could look you know but once you have an idea that um you know you create the uh the basic shape of the ear which looks like a bean a bean shape it's, it's bean shaped and then from there you have this little c you know this little curvy region from here you know all over and then you have the y shaped and then you have this bump and the inner ear i think i think you'll be fine because i realized that the ears are um intimidating for a lot of people it doesn't have to be um just have a way of breaking it down it may not be like how i've done it but always have a way of breaking things down that always makes things um doable makes them approachable yeah. okay almost at the point where uh, we're going to you know just focus on details but we're not quite there yet um, 
I'm just gonna use the crease and continue to scrape out this area and just build out the flesh here until I'm satisfied with what I have. end of the day we have something that looks somewhat decent so i'm going to stop here uh, you could always take whatever um sculpt you have to the level that seems fine for you i'm satisfied with um what i have now it's a, it's a little bit rough around the edges in some places but i think i'm happy with the result um i could spend um some more hours tweaking but um you know as artists we tend to do that a lot but i'm just going to call this done but just to recap just remember you know sculpting basically anything you know start with the base shape the overall shape of that um object what that mesh and then begin laying out some other secondary forms before going into details so we created the uh, overall shape of the ear and then this uh, C. I'm really looking for a better word for this, but anyway, this C shape and then the Y shape. Uh, then you have this bump over here and all and all of that, which um, if we were actually working on a face, which we will very soon, if we were actually working on a face, you know, you... Um, uh, do a bowling and just attach it. Let's assume this was a face and then just um, begin to um, ease out the transition so it doesn't look uh, like two objects, which in this case it is. So I hope this short tutorial was helpful. Let me know in the comments and I will also love to see your attempt at this. If you actually try it out, you could um, reach out to me basically anywhere. Um, and I would like to see what you do and I'm going to see you all in the next one thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe thank you bye bye